Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor. And today I'm going to teach you about one of those secrets that not many people go over. And it's a feature called Spatial Temporal Post Processing. Now, I want you to say that four times really, really fast and see if you can make it happen. And tell me down in the comments if you do. But don't lie, because I'll know. <laughs> so really, what this feature does, it takes a lower resolution of your game and then can upscale that like a lot of modern consoles do to reach higher resolutions like 1080p, 2K, 4K. And you'll see some footage in the background with a user from Reddit called DVXC made some comparisons at taking even lower resolution, comparing some of the upscaling, and STP does a really great job. And this can even do a good job on mobile to make it reach higher resolutions and you use higher quality post-processing out of the box. So it can improve GPU performance across the board. You can use this in URP and HDRP to get a boost. And it's a software-based upscaler. It does require the use of temporal anti-aliasing, but this is enabled by default. And performance gain specifically, it automatically does this to balance performance and image quality out of the box. So therefore, you don't need to change this on different platforms or different resolutions. It will do this for you. So on higher performance platforms like PC and console, it uses higher quality image filtering logic to make the upscaling better. And even on things like mobile devices, it'll do more performant image filtering so you get less impact on devices which aren't as powerful. So on low-end devices, you can use higher-end post-processing and you get better performance with the use of less pixels. There's documentation, which I'll put down below, but I will also show you how to enable it. If you do want to enable this, you need to find your URP asset, usually in your settings or somewhere in the project menu, but if you don't have it, you can go to edit, project settings, and you can find it in quality and then in your render pipeline asset here. Mine is PC high for this project. And on the right hand side, you can see, or it might be closed, you can navigate to quality and you can see the upscaling filter. And it's by default set to automatic. And you can see at the bottom here, you've got the spatial temporal post processing. And that is essentially all you need to do to get the performance gain from lower resolution to higher resolution. And so you can see in this footage in the background, I wanted to show it off. And this is 8K footage in the background. And you can see that this user created something which, without upscaling, it uses this much power and it's around 60 FPS. Then the user enables FSR3 and gets double the performance for similar power usage. And you can get more performance out of it that way. And in this case, with the 8K resolution using STP or having that enabled, that it reduces power usage to around 230 watts and it gets the most performance because it hits the highest refresh rate that this user has on their monitor, 165 hertz, I think it was. And so then the user goes on to looking at 1080p with no upscaling. So you can see the overall quality. It's not always as easy in the video. Then within the quality, they, they enable FSR3 again with ultra performance to see what the quality looks like. So it's essentially rendering the game at 360p and upscaling to 1080p resolution. And this user does suggest that it's usable, but it's a little bit blurry and the final image isn't as crisp. Now there's similar, the spatial temporal post processing at ultra performance again. Now the overall image looks a lot crisper and it goes from 270p and upscales up to 1080p. And it's almost like the original resolution that we saw at 1080p, especially in this scene. And it doesn't always mean that it will be for everything that you use, but I'll put a link to this post so you can check it out for yourself too. Let me know if this was helpful to you and let me know if you've used it or you start using it. Do check out Unity Sales down below and do be sure to check out my Patreon to get over 225 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Big thank you to Peter Steiner, Very Shooter and Party of 10 and everybody else who comes to watch the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.